Lauren Sarah here from Blushington. Um, I'm just going to give everybody a couple more minutes to gather in. We have a packed class tonight. I am coming to you totally makeup free because, um, as promised, one of the most important parts of this class is a skincare routine. So I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about skincare and um, I'm open if anybody has any questions before we get started. Let's see. Okay. Just going to give it maybe two more minutes. And okay. And just for you guys that are already here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I see a lot of familiar faces, which is very exciting. And I'm just going to give you guys a little technical guidance for this. Um, on the upper right hand side of the screen, you'll see um, pin speaker, pin my video, or you can click on active speaker view. That will allow you to actually um, have my face on the larger part of the screen. That makes it a lot easier to follow along. Um, as well as um, if you have any questions throughout the class, I will do my very best to answer each and every one. Um, if you type them into the chat box, now that is um, lower center of your screen. It says chat and you can just type in and hit enter and your question will come up on my screen so I'll be able to answer it. Um, let's see. Okay, we'll give everybody two more minutes. I'm very excited to have you guys here today. Um, hey, Natasha. <laughs> Let's see, I have Natasha, Christine, Margaret, John. Ooh, Margaret, good question. I've got my first question. <laughs> How do you avoid looking tired when you have a Zoom meeting at 8.30 a.m.? Okay. The best thing is gonna be to get a good night's sleep the night before. Um, if you have trouble with that, we actually have some great Flushington products that have really helped me sleep very well. Um, one of them is called, um, I think it's called, uh, it's This Works is the name of the brand, and I think it's Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. And everybody I know that uses it swears by it, including me. Um, we also have some fabulous, um, what do we call them? CBD gummies that are really great and natural for helping you get to sleep without um, having to take like a medication. But there's a few little tricks of the trade for looking great early in the morning. Um, I'm gonna teach you guys how to conceal any dark circles around the eyes actually a lot easier than you would think and you don't have to deal with concealer to do it um definitely being well hydrated a little dewiness and i am a full-time believer in the eyelash curling and mascara um if anybody's I think in this group, we're pretty much all, yeah, uh, astute with the eyelash curler, but if you're not, I'll demonstrate. Okay, um, also we have a great product called To Go Spa, and they are little gel pads. The best way to use them is to refrigerate them overnight, and you can put them on under your eyes in the morning. They brighten, they help with, um, puffiness. You can put them, if your eyes feel irritated, you can actually close your eyes and just lay them on top and relax for a little bit. But it's another great little add-on for your morning routine while you're reading your newspaper, drinking your coffee, and getting ready for that meeting. So, all right, so let's get started. So um, again, my name is Lauren Sarah. And I have been with Blushington for four years. 
Um, yes, okay, as well, I just wanna mention, we have somebody from Blushington that's going to be um, putting up the links to each product in real time in the chat. So any product that you want to take a look at, it'll be right there in the chat. And you can also use my code Lauren10 for 10% off any purchase, um, which is great because we all know that cosmetics and beauty products rarely ever go on sale. So excited to be able to offer that to you guys today. So um, Blushington, we all know, is a makeup and beauty lounge. We have locations in New York City, Dallas, and LA. But while we're temporarily closed, um, we launched this virtual platform. And we do makeup, skincare, um, bridal classes, day of events and weddings to help you guys at home navigate through getting ready and feeling and looking your best. Um, so we can do makeup, skincare, uh, male grooming, and you can book them at blushington.com. Uh, we do group individual classes and we also customize everything to whatever it is that you want. We get a lot of parties as well. So bachelorette parties, girls nights out, birthday parties. It's a really fun, um, an affordable way to celebrate. So again, for anybody that missed it, um, just a few technical bits. If you um, click on active speaker view, where it says view in the top right corner, you'll be able to see my um, picture as the large one on your screen. And any and all questions, please type them in the chat box. That's the bottom center of the screen. And then I will answer them throughout the class. Um, so now again, a disclaimer that the routine I'm gonna teach you guys is actually, I would say max 20 minutes in the morning, maybe 10 minutes at night, not even necessarily, but um, obviously it will take a little while to teach you and discuss the proper technique. So, um, so let's get started. So we, I, I wanted to do this class because I wanted to bring um, a voice to the beautiful women in their 60s and above. And I wanted to help everybody um, really find that time and that space to celebrate your, um, your beauty. Some of us for the first time, maybe empty nesters. Um, some may not be, <laughs> as many kids are staying home and going to college online. Um, some people may be traveling, starting a second career. This is really a great time to invest in yourself and in your own um, beauty. And I usually offer some do's and don'ts. I don't really think that there are a lot of do's and don'ts um, for beauty in your 60s. The main don't I would say though is don't give up on wearing makeup. So you don't wanna wear nothing, but you also don't want to continue wearing the same thing that you've always been wearing since you were like 40 because um, as our skin changes, as we age, there are certain things that you want to bring more attention to and certain things that you wanna soften. So the do uh, to that would be to find a nice soft kind of lightweight makeup routine that just brings the look of um, dewiness and glow and color into your skin without being overly dramatic. That will give you, um, that will give you the best kind of beauty routine. It's simple, it's easy to travel with. Um, and what you do want to do is invest in your skincare product and invest in your skincare routine. So if you haven't done that, that's okay, now is a perfect time. So I'm gonna go over just some basics with you guys 
on skincare. So now the key to um, anti-aging and preserving the beauty and the youth of your skin right now, besides for sunscreen, because that's like a number one, um, is a, a proper skincare routine, which means that you want to you want to try to get some daily exfoliation into your routine, but sometimes the skin gets a little bit more delicate. As you can see, I have a lot of rosacea that I never, ever, ever show on camera, but I'm showing it to everybody tonight um, because, and, and I have the broken capillaries as all of these things start happening when our skin starts changing. So, um, the, I've discovered that you, I still need the exfoliating. And when we work with this, we work with a great New York City dermatologist. He talks about um, chemical exfoliating. Now, when it comes to chemical exfoliating, it's not necessarily chemicals, but what it is is predominantly fruit acids. So, um, lactic acid, alpha hydroxy acid, um, beta hydroxy acid, and glycolic acid. Those are all um, going to be act as chemical exfoliants. And what they do is instead of a physical exfoliant, like a scrub, they actually use enzymes that are already built in that create these fruit acids to kind of just um, eat away any dead skin. So using a fruit acid product is a really great way to be able to um, exfoliate the skin without having to agitate it, redden it, break capillaries, um, and you don't have to worry about any of those things. So first thing you wanna do is cleanse. Now, cleanser and toner are, are a two-step process to cleansing your skin. And if you don't use, I mean, how many people don't use a toner? I've been skipping a toner for years. <laughs> and yeah, there you go, Nancy. So we're, a lot of us skip toner, right? It's, it's something I never even thought, what do I need this for? And then the dermatologist explained it to me. So the reason why you tone the skin is because your cleanser and your toner need to be broken into two separate cleansing steps so that neither one is harsh enough to remove everything. If you are using products that are harsh enough on your skin, that your skin goes into a reactionary mode, which means that it will, it will um, go into like a defensive mode and not allow anything else to penetrate. So, if you are using a harsh soap, but then using a $300 cream, that cream may not be penetrating as deeply as you're wanting it to. So basically the toner, and I'm gonna use, this is uh, my favorite toner. This is Clarifying Toner by Beauty RX. And that is our clinical skincare line. So I'm just spraying a little on a cotton pad and what the toner does is it removes any excess um, oil, dirt, makeup that your cleanser is unable to remove. And if you're using a good cleanser, it shouldn't be removing every single thing. So this is kind of similar to the craze that started several years ago um, the craze of really following and studying this Korean skincare regimen. It's the same with the Japanese um, skincare regimen. That's many, many, many little fast steps. And the reason why is because they're using um, lightweight products and they're breaking it into steps so that it really absorbs into the skin and it's not super harsh. So I don't know if you can see that, but that toner took off what my cleanser didn't. So that's really important. Now, there is a cleanser that I'm in love with, and it's a new brand that we're carrying at Blushington called One Love Organics. 
and it is 100% organic. It is, I believe, an alpha hydroxy cleanser. And again, it does that, um, let's see, if you're using a product that makes you dry, yes, that does mean that it's too harsh. Now, some people, yes, okay, some people are using prescription retinoids, and retinol is, Retinol is, I think it's a heavy duty vitamin A, I believe. So it is going to at times cause your skin to peel. But ideally, you want to use something that doesn't cause that peeling unless you're looking for a radical resurfacing. Um, using something, yes, using something that is um, a little lighter and pH balanced such as we have, um, we also have, uh, we call it the progressive peel from Beauty RX. That is a, um, it's like a two product kit and that will give you the effect of a um, glycolic peel, but gently in steps over a month's time. So you'll see a huge difference in the skin in Really, I would say in a week, you see a huge difference. I see a huge difference just after using it once. But, um, but that is, yeah, that's a, little, um, that's a little less harsh. It's a lot less harsh. And it still has that effect for the skin. So when it comes to prescription retinoids, you know, you have to discuss it with your own doctor. But um, unless you're looking for radical resurfacing of the skin, it may be a little harsher than what you need. Now, this organic um, cleanser that has the, um, it has alpha hydroxy acid, but because it's organic and it's completely derived from fruits, there's no chemical additives. It is so gentle on the skin. And it's one of the only things that doesn't cause me to go fully red. <laughs> so that being said, next most important thing, if you're not using a toner, now's the time to start. A t uh, sorry, not a toner, a serum. <laughs> we already did toner. So a serum. A serum is a magical product. It is like taking a vitamin for your skin, um, but it's going directly onto the skin and going directly into the layers of the skin. And there are all different types of serum. I'm actually using, this is one of my favorites. This is the, um, the triple vitamin C serum from Beauty RX. Now what I love about this is that anytime you're using vitamin C, it's going to help with brightening and tightening the skin. And you can actually feel it tightening the skin, but not in a uncomfortable way. Um, so just one, one little pump, it absorbs in really quickly. Now, if you're like a real skincare guru, you may want to use a different one at night and a different one during the day. This is my daytime routine, but this can be done at night as well. So the other thing that's great about this, as opposed to some other vitamin C serums, is that it's stabilized vitamin C, which means it never loses its um, effectiveness. Uh, the other thing is that it's in a pump and it's in a black glass bottle. So a lot of um, products that have vitamin C in them, as soon as you open it and expose it to oxygen, it starts to lose its, um, its efficacy. So this will keep working. Uh, you just wanna keep it out of the sun and out of the heat but um, it's also triple source. So you're getting like a triple dose of vitamin C. So now the next step would be to moisturize um, and do some under eye cream. I'm gonna use, again, I've fallen in love with this um, One Love Organics under eye balm. It's um, vitamin E and it is, it's kind of in a solid form. So you just wanna take very little amount of it, but whatever, whatever you're doing right now, um, you can use whatever under eye cream you have. I see I have such a tiny amount. And you always wanna apply this either with your pinky or your ring fingers. Um, 
once you actually get it on the skin, it's wonderful and it really warms up and melts right in. I even like to put a little bit on my lips. And my other little trick with this is, see if I can find, okay. So now these are not sold at Blushington, but this is a great tool. Uh, I highly recommend, it's a jade roller. I know that they make jade roller, I, they make other gemstone rollers, but I have found a huge difference. Um, you know, I don't know, this is the one, somebody bought this for me as a gift. And I know that Jade has healing properties. It's been used in um, China for years and years as a beauty tool, but, um, but there's all, there are also rose quartz ones, and I believe there are amethyst ones. So what's great is that I find that when I roll any under eye serum or even my um, skincare serum in with this, it really gets into the crevices, smooths everything out. The big side and that vitamin E um, eye cream is amazing. Yes, exactly. I'm using this to help get the product in. It's also amazingly cooling. Um, I know a lot of people keep them in their refrigerator. And it's also great to use for the decollete and chest because hands, <laughs> decollete, um, these are signs that show aging that a lot of us forget about. So that's just my little uh, two cents about the jade roller. Now, if you are working from home, you definitely want to put sunscreen on even if you're indoors. The reason for that is that you're getting blue rays from the computers and any other um, electronic devices you're sitting in front of. And blue rays cause um, skin aging. As far as we know, they're not carcinogenic, but they do cause um, photo aging. So not only do you want to wear some sunscreen on the face, neck, chest, but also your hands especially if you're typing, um, because that is an area that we really want to preserve the look of the youth. So the next step would be to moisturize. Now, because I am a little crazy, I'm not even going to use a regular moisturizer. I'm actually going to use another <laughs> serum um, that is so rich and moisturizing that I don't need an additional moisturizer. And I figure why not get the extra effects of another serum on my skin. So this one is Botanical E Youth Preservation Serum by One Love Organics. And this is also, you know, this is a really great brand to it. Uh, I love what, well, let me just say it has a roller ball, which keeps it really sanitary. Because again, I'm not sticking my finger in anything. And it also um, keeps the product, um, keeps the efficacy of the product because it's not seeing any oxygen. But this is also really a great brand if you have undergone any kind of chemotherapy or if you are um, struggling with any kind of diagnosis where you're trying to eliminate chemical products from your skincare routine. So now I'm moisturized and double serumed. <laughs> and this actually, all of their products works, work best on damp skin. So I'm gonna actually use, I have, um, they have a vitamin D little moisture spritz. So just pat that in. So as me, even though it seems like many products, this does not take me any more than five minutes. Um, again, it's the cleanser, the toner, serum, under eye cream. I do my little roller 
and then I put on the vitamin E with the spritz. Um, so, do we have any questions about this so far? Anybody? Let's see. That is why, <laughs> yes, that's why there are all those spritzes, Nancy. <laughs> There are a lot of different types of spritzes as well. There are ones that are moisturizing. There are ones that are for setting makeup. There are ones that multitask and do all of the above. Um, but yeah, this that there are a lot of different ones. I use the under eye balm at night as well. Yes, Sheila. Um, I love that one. However, honorable mention, because this was my favorite for a very long time and I still love it. This is the Beauty RX um, Gentle Exfoliating Under Eye Cream. So sometimes I will take a break also because this um, vitamin E can be very rich. And if you use very rich creams, you know sometimes you can get, they call it melia, um, almost like a little, uh, like a little bump under the eye. That's from the richness. So this will actually help exfoliate. Wait, I just missed a question. Let's see, it is a good, yes. Uh, Michelle asked, is it a good idea to use an under eye balm when you're in your early 30s? Yes, there is never a time that it's a bad time to use an under eye balm. I don't usually um, recommend it as a necessity for people in their 20s, but definitely by 30. Um, the most important thing is you want to preserve the health of the skin underneath. Now also certain oils, um, especially like certain organic oils can help actually build the fat under the um, top layer of the skin. And that is like the biggest um, difference in skin that ages quickly versus skin that um, that ages slowly is that the, the density of the fat under the skin. So starting with some um, really moisturizing products and some under eye cream is a great way to help build some of that fat under the skin, those collagen cells. So now I'm gonna teach you guys a fast, simple, um, like full face routine for daytime, evening time. Um, you can add on to it anytime that you want, but I'm gonna teach you guys just a really flattering, beautiful look that works on anybody and everybody. So now I'm gonna start with covering up all this redness. <laughs> and I'm actually gonna use you've taken my classes or if you're a member of my family or friends, you know this is my favorite product ever on earth. This is Herborian CC Cream. So this is actually a Korean skin therapy product. So again, I'm not putting on foundation. I'm not putting on tinted moisturizer. I'm putting on a CC cream. The CC stands for Conceal and Correct. So it will give me color correction. It will give me a high definition blur to any lines and pores that I have. It will also completely cover this rosacea. Most people have no idea that I have this. <laughs> and um, I don't know if you guys can see it as well as I see it on my computer screen, but um, this also has serum ingredients, um, sunscreen in it. It's really a multi-level, multitasking, everything in one product. And you can do, put it on with your hands, which I love. So I'm going to take some of this. Now it comes out white when you when you um, rub it together and heat it up, it'll start to change color to match your skin tone. Um, okay, Sheila, I mix a little bit because right now I'm kind of in between colors. So I'm using the golden, which it will either be golden or dory in the CC cream, but because I love the dewy texture, 
for olive skin, I would definitely go with the golden or the dory. Um, Claire is the best for very fair skin. And then they have caramel for darker skin. And I believe that they're coming out with some additional shades. So I'm actually adding in a little bit of their BB cream just because I love that dewiness. Now again, the more um, moisturized and dewy the texture of your skin is, the more youthful your skin will look. Okay, so you can see, started to change color. Now it may seem like a lot, but this is how much I wear and it never looks like I have anything on or feels like it. So you wanna start in the center of the face and just blend it upward and outward. Now you can actually put this all the way up under the eyes, right over the eyelids. Watch all that discoloration kind of disappear. And I, I've never had as many compliments on my skin in my entire life as since I started wearing this. And it has enough color payoff that um, I use this all the time on people that are going to events, mothers of the bride, brides themselves. Um, it really, you don't need a full coverage foundation, even if you think you do, even if you have all that redness like I had. Now, what you always wanna do, this is really important, without adding any additional product, you want to go just around the edges and just take what you have on your hands and you want to pull it and just blend it till it fades away into your neckline. Okay. Now I also will sometimes just pull it a little bit over my ears again, cause I've got all that redness and um, sometimes in the winter when I'm a little more fair, I actually will mix in, there's a CC Red Correct, it comes in a green bottle. And it again, it still adjusts to your skin tone, but it has a little bit of that green cast. Um, what I'm actually gonna do right now, is I'm gonna take just a little bit of this and just rub my fingers together. And you'll see it's, it changes color, but it still has a little bit of that green cast. And then I just tap it on my more red parts. Usually around the nose. Now, nothing about what I have on feels heavy or greasy or um, anything. And it's giving me SPF protection, which I love. So this is SPF um, 25. I feel that this is enough for me in front of the computer, um, but don't let that stop you if you want additional sunscreen. That's, it, sunscreen can't hurt. So, Okay, so I'm just gonna wipe my hands off. So once I have this on, as you can see, that did a lot. Next thing that you wanna do is color correct. And we're gonna do this one, one palette to do it all. So this is a Stila color correction palette. And somebody, I can't remember who asked me about how to look good at like 8.30 in the morning on Zoom. This is one of the keys, this is one of the tricks. So you'll see the ones I use the most, but it has five creams, two powders, okay? Now in general, above the age of 25, powder is no longer anybody's friend. So if you are addicted to your powder, just try taking a week off and see how life goes. You may find that you look more youthful. You may miss it, but 
in general, I don't powder. I, I almost never powder my clients, but um, especially anybody over like 25 or 30, it just, it, it's never flattering. So now, okay, it's 8.30 in the morning. My skin is perfect, except what about all that? So what you wanna do is use a counteractive color that will just blend this away. It's really amazing how it works. Um, this actually has a cheat sheet on the back to tell you which colors you would need to use and um, based on your skin tone. So I'm gonna use this warm peach color with just a little touch of the orange. And I'm using a damp beauty blender because to me, this is the fastest, easiest way to do this. So this is going to be applied with a stamping motion just in the under eye circle area and over the eyelid. And again, I like to get all the way in there because I really have that, that dark pigmentation right in that inner corner. So already I see a huge difference from one side to the other. Um, put a little bit more right there. Great. And remember, this is a nice, fast morning time, get me out the door um, routine. So I'll do the same thing on the other side. And just a word about the beauty blender. There are a lot of brands that appear to be similar, but this is the original actual brand Beauty Blender. And what's great about this is again, it's a female founded company. If I didn't mention it before, um, we work with predominantly female founded companies and um, predominantly all in, independent luxury brands and we curate from those brands so that we have the best of the best and these are all hand cut made in america i love it so now i'm actually going to take now if you have this as many of us have if you put just a little touch of a shade kind of a lighter shade so I'm gonna use this lighter pink color and I'm using the point of my beauty blender right in there. What you're doing is you're filling in a shade, a shaded spot. So you're bringing the, the look of that space forward. You're basically filling in a shadow. That's another little trick so you see it's more faded on this side looking than that side okay and these are you know this is optional of course but i'm here to give you guys my insider my insider secrets okay now the only place that I want to set, I'm going to set this top part of my eyes, um, but I am not going to set underneath with powder. So I am actually going to use this lavender brightening powder and I'm doing it right on the beauty blender again. So again, it was a boom, 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 boom over the eyes. Now I'm just pressing this lavender brightening powder and this will, this will set the color correction I put on top of the eye. 
but it also give me kind of a primer if I want to put some eyeshadow on. And if I want nothing on, it just gives me a really nice, bright, even look. Okay. Now, if you want to set underneath the eyes, but you're concerned, how do we do this without powder? Now we're using a different spritz. So this is a setting spray. This is called Slay All Day. It smells amazing. Oh, thank you, madam. I'm glad that you're enjoying this. So now I'm gonna just spritz the Beauty Blender and just gently press it um, or really just kind of touch it to that under eye area, right where I sprayed the product on. Now I will be able to go about my day and laugh and smile and all those things that make all those crinkles under my eyes without worrying that um, everything is coming off or that it's all settling into the lines. But at the same time, I don't have powder. I don't have to deal with that powder. As soon as you put the powder on, you see the lines. So now that that's done, hooray. I'm gonna show you how fast this goes. We are going to a blush, uh, I'm sorry, a bronzer. This is a Kevin Aquan Neo Bronzer, and I chose this because, because it comes in a variety of shades for a variety of skin tones. Thank you, Sunita. Sunita's learning a lot of great tips, thank you. So now I'm taking a Bdellium um, angled blush brush, now, if you're not using, um, yes, okay, Susan, we do sell the Beauty Blender. We also sell the cleanser that comes with it. And they last, it depends on how long you, uh, how, how well you take care of it. But ideally, you don't ever want to keep one for more than three months. So um, I would say one to three months. Yeah, I, I rarely use the green in the color correction palette, Sheila. Um, it is such a harsh green, but if you, it, sometimes what I like to do is actually, you can take a tiny little bit of that and mix it in with your foundation if you just really need to um, make it a little bit more olive toned, like to get some of the pink or the orange out and make it a little more, um, I have a little bit more of a, a greenish undertone. You can also do that if you need to cover redness, but I just happen to love how the uh, Herborian one does it. So you're gonna take this and I'm gonna take, this kind of has an ombre shade here. So I'm gonna take from the darker end. And now if you're not using bronzer, and you're only using blush, this is gonna be a game changer for you. So where this is gonna go is not below, but right on the cheekbone from the hairline, just to about the outer corner of the eyebrow. And the best kind of blending motion you'll ever get is if you just go back and forth like a windshield wiper just back and forth. Now, it's important that you don't wanna pull it down because you don't wanna make the face look long and drawn. You wanna make it look lifted. So sometimes right about here, I give it a little flick upward. See that? And then you wanna kind of take it almost like a little C shape around the edge of the hairline. And now you may say, well, I've been doing this with blush for years. Okay, nothing wrong with that, but blush, I'm gonna show you a different way to use blush, a different location for it. Um, and one of the benefits of the bronzer is that it also, um, it gives you some, some color into your skin that's not just a pink, but this gives you some warmth. And that's really essential to looking healthy and youthful. So again, this side, make that little C shape. 
and that little flick. Okay, and then I like to take it around the hairline. Um, now again, it all depends on the shape of your hairline. You don't want to dwarf your forehead by putting it too low, especially if you already have a low forehead. And, you know, at this stage in the game, I do recommend that everybody enlists the help of an expert. You know, it's a, it's a worthwhile, if you're short on brushes and need to restock, oh yes, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that was from Blushington. I was reading it like a question. Um, but yeah, I think that, you know, if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one with me or one of my colleagues, you can go to blushington.com and book that. And we can actually teach you not just which are the best products for you, but how, what is the best application for each product for your particular face, eye shape, skin tone. Um, so it really is a nice, a nice way to spend some time. So now I'm going to switch to a fluffy eyeshadow brush, also a Bdellium, and I'm taking some on the tip of it in that same color. And remember, I'm doing this all with bronzer. Let's tap off the excess, and I'm gonna put this in my crease. Now, in reality, uh, for many of us, we no longer have <laughs> a highly visible crease. If you do, then you would just put this directly in your crease. But if your skin, if you have a, a hooded lid, a mono lid, a deep set eye, or you're just starting to have that skin sag where this top sits right on your eyelid, so you don't really have a visible crease anymore, the way to fake that is you look straight ahead. I'm gonna hold my mirror up. You look straight ahead in the mirror. Okay, with your eye open and your eyebrow relaxed, and you take a brush that's not too wide. So something like this, where I'll have a little space between the brush and my eyebrow. And then you're just going to place it about center. And you're almost going to just draw a little semicircle around your open eye. So instead of going inside the crease, you're going right above the crease and making a little outline of your eye. And this will give you the look of a crease. So you wanna do that on both sides. And as you see, I'm doing that windshield wiper motion blends, right? Very, very simple. And you can add as much of this as you like. Um, you can add regular eyeshadow too, but I just like to stick with this really simple, easy look. Now I'm switching to a lipstick. And this lipstick is going to be my lipstick, <laughs> my, um, and then it's gonna work as a cream blush for my eyelids and my cheeks. So this is a Becca lipstick and the color is Blaze. It's kind of a bright color. You can use any lipstick that you really love, but you don't wanna do it with a very deep red unless you are a dark skin tone. So um, otherwise something that has a little bit of a berry tone to it, I like this even though it's like super coral, but it just has such a bright, fresh look and it looks good on every skin tone. So I'm just going to get some right onto my lips, smooth it out with my finger. Now I have that on my finger, putting it right on my eyelid there. How is this coming out on camera? Can you see this? Putting some right on there. You can also, if you're really conscientious of germs or if you get um, cold sore breakouts or eye infections, you can also take this and put it on the back of your hand and work from there as well. 
Okay, so I've got that. Smile, now I'm putting this on the upper apple of my cheek, keeping the bottom of my nose as the guideline for how low I'm willing to go, okay? So it's almost like the top part of the apple. And I'm just kind of patting it on and then I'm just gonna pull it up on the top to kind of marry it into that bronzer. And then just put a little more on my eyelid. See, all I'm really doing is recreating the look of a brightness, an even skin tone, a warmth and some, um, you know, uh, blood rushing through my skin, like some pink. And that's really enough to give to give me and to give all of you guys just a nice soft um radiant kind of look that is so much more useful than um wearing a, a heavy look okay now if you like sometimes i put a little dot at the end of the nose okay now, last two little things are brows. And with that, I'm using a very simple to use product. It's Brow Gal and it's Instatint. Instatint, it comes in three shades. Now we have many brow products. We have many, we have many of every single thing that I use, different options. But I love this one. To me, it's very simple to use. Um, it comes out like a tiny little mascara wand and it actually has fibers in there. So it works as like color, like a, a pencil, but it also will hold them in place and it has fibers that will build density. So um, I'm actually, I turn it facing me and I'm just gonna use it like a pencil just to fill in where I have a lot of missing, oh, missing hairs. And another recommendation is you want to, you want to go um, lighter in tone. For example, I have black hair, but I'm using the brunette. This is going to help warm up my face and also make it look less harsh and also make my eyebrows look less harsh. Now, if I fill these in with a black pencil, then it looks, it looks very harsh. And I'm trying to make my face look nice and soft, nice and soft and pretty. So the other side. So if you are like a, a light brown color, even a medium brown, you might look best with the blonde, the blonde color um, brow product. Now again, and at the ends, I will put my um, Instagram handle on there if you're on Instagram um, or if you're on Facebook, you can always contact me anytime. You can contact blushington.com anytime and you can ask us questions. We can all help you with um, shopping, with choosing the right colors for yourself. And again, I really recommend that everybody um, give yourself the little gift of like a one-on-one -on -one consultation with an expert because you really end up spending so much less money when you know what are the right products to buy and the right tools and you're not just out there experimenting, uh, trying to figure it out on your own or just dealing with, with salespeople um, that are just trying to sell you something. So yeah, having an artist, a makeup artist at your fingertips is a really great it's a really great tool to have. So brows done. Now I'm going to curl the lashes. My favorite thing my mom ever taught me to do beauty wise. Um, 
So if you don't know, you put the two fingers in, open it. And I like to close my eye and then I don't squeeze just yet. I just do a little, a little test closure, nothing pinching, then squeeze. And when I wanna really super curl, I lift my hand up just a little bit, straight up. Okay. Oh yes, I can see that. <laughs> so do this eye. And now I'm gonna show you another mascara. <clears throat> Thank you. I'm gonna show you guys um, a mascara that's really great and really user friendly. This is great if you wear glasses and you can't see what you're doing. Um, and I'm gonna teach you how to do it so that you don't even need to see in the mirror. <laughs> so this is a Kevin Aquan volume mascara. And what's unique about this is that it is a, um, it's a tubing mascara, which means that instead of just coating it with color, this actually creates little tubes on each lash. So it's great for building thickness. Um, if you've lost a lot of lashes, if your lashes are recovering from extensions, or if they're just delicate, at, at some point they can just become very delicate. So this is great for helping build, but it also comes off with just water, warm water. So it's not gonna just come off throughout the day but when you don't need any harsh um, makeup remover to take it off. So now it also has this super skinny wand, skinniest wand of any like mascara ever, which makes it especially helpful when you can't see well. <laughs> so what you wanna do is anchor your elbow onto a vanity or table in front of you. And then without even having to move your hand, or the wand, you just lean in, focus on feeling it at the base of the lashes, and then just wiggle and blink your eye. Just wiggle and blink your eye. And you will coat every single lash, and you can build this as much as you want, but it is, really see I'm doing the other way. So I'm, I'm actually turning with while keeping my hand anchored and I'm really just turning my face. So this is great if you don't have a steady hand as well. And it's really lightweight, but I really will say that um, I have found that when I use this one on a regular basis, like on a daily basis, it gives <clears throat> my lashes a chance to, um, to recover from some of the harsher products I've used. And as I teach these classes daily, using this has actually helped my lashes to become just a little stronger, probably because I'm not um, having to agitate them at all to take it off. Okay. So again, you just blink. It's all you have to do. Although I like to wiggle it at the base just so I get a little extra. Just wiggle, blink, wiggle, blink. And you'll be amazed at how much easier it is to do this with your glasses off. Okay, and the fact that it's super skinny makes it also really easy to do on the bottom. And you can do the same thing with your, uh, <clears throat> with your elbow anchored. See, I move my, my head more than I move my hand. And I just find it, it's just a really easy way to apply this without um, having to worry about like, 
messing it up or getting it everywhere. It's also a really helpful way to apply it when you do have that um, mono lid or that hooded lid, because sometimes you'll, you'll try putting on mascara the other way like this, and it'll end up getting all over that, that hooded lid. So if you kind of lean back and just blink your eye, also helps um, lock in the curl. So that is my simple, uh, fast, everyday, soft look, but still flattering. Um, this is all you really need. Uh, just it's really just some skin coverage. The um, the uh, the color of the bronzer. I use the color Sunrise Light. Um, it's called the Neo Bronzer by Kevin Aquan, and it comes in many different shades. And we have other ones as well. I just chose this because it has such a range. Because we have people in my classes of all different skin tones, which I love. Um, so yeah, it's really just some skin coverage, that um, color correction, bronzer, lip, cheek, eye, eyebrows, and mascara. And it's a great way to just give yourself a fresh, um, youthful, glowing kind of appearance. But again, spend the time on the skincare and not as much on the makeup. And you'll be amazed at how um, bright and glowing you can look. So even if you completely skip the bronzer, you could still just do this with the, the lips and get that little pink on the eyes. It's flattering on everyone. Um, it's just a really easy kind of way to elevate your look if you're wearing nothing. And it's a great, easy way to soften your look to just, you know, we all know 60 is the new 40. So <laughs> we should all look 40 at 60 and most people do nowadays. So, um, so yeah, so I hope that you guys got something out of the class. Do we have any questions before we head out? Let's see. This also will be um, posted within the week on our um, Blushington YouTube channel. So if you want to rewatch, um, okay, right. And you can also find the other classes on our official YouTube channel. Please visit us at blushington.com. If, if you ever wanna do um, a one-on-one -on -one class with me or any of my colleagues. I recommend everybody. Everybody's amazing. You can book that at blushington.com. It's very reasonably priced. And, um, and if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's um, at Lauren Sarah Makeup Artist. So just as it's spelled in my corner, lower corner, Lauren Sarah Makeup Artist. And follow us, follow us at Blushington as well. Um, thank you guys again so much. Use that code Lauren10 for 10% off. And I look forward to hearing from you, seeing you guys again. In the next two weeks, I'm going to be teaching. This is the end of this um, series, but the next two weeks, I'm going to teach some Halloween looks. So please join me again. You guys have been wonderful. Thank you so much. Bye.